guys, welcome back to the garage. How are we doing today? Today we're going to watch an old video I did last year in October. And uh, I'm going to show you how I put a Shashugi bond, which is a burning of the wood technique, how I glue one of these side blanks up to paint this on. So I'm going to show you the technique, how I did that, and also how I took a regular uh, Harbor Freight clamp and uh, made it where you can't twist it and made it into a real strong, solid clamp. So hang around at the garage today. Please excuse the air conditioner noise in the background. It's hot in my shop, so I had to finally turn it on. October 2nd, and it's stinking hot. So we had talked about about a week ago on my Facebook. I put up a bunch of uh, pictures of uh, signs that I made. Kind of looking like, hang on, kind of looking like this. So when I make it, when I make a sign, I think of a name and then I put a little piece of tape on it once I glue it together so I don't forget it. So when I go back into my design program, I know which one to cut for the freedom. So uh, today we're going to uh, glue up some signs. So um, what we're going to do today is I'm going to take these pieces of wood and uh, show you how I glue them up clamp them up using my beautiful Harbor Freights. And I'm going to show you a little trick about Harbor Freight. Let me get one here. Hang on. If you ever buy these Harbor Freight uh, clamps, they're really pretty good. But part of the problem with them is this. See that? You can really twist them. And, and sometimes you have a problem with that. So I've taken a piece of plywood that you can see inside there and getting rid of all that so now this thing doesn't twist at all. Just took a piece of three quarter inch plywood, cut it, fit it, slid it in here, glued the ends back on, and now you got a clamp that's almost as good as a bar clamp, but not quite, but it works really good. So um, I've done that to almost all of them. I got a few new ones not too long ago. And uh, I also noticed if you put a little paste wax on your, on your uh, runners, it makes them run like glass. So. It's it's a it's a good deal. So this is what we're doing here. I titled Winter Wonderland. So uh, I'm gonna adjust the camera and we'll be back and we'll start laying this thing out and gluing her up. All right, let's let's do it. So first of all, we want to put all of our pieces out. And this is with me doing that Shashugi bond Shashugi bond technique. So we got the two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. It's about 19 inches long. So what I like to do is I turn them all up on the side. And normally you can do just a massive glue up, but I do my signs a little bit different because I don't glue them straight like this. And if I get glue where I don't want it, then it's not going to look very nice when I'm trying to sell them. And I sell a lot of these. So basically what I do, so I come in, I use Type Bond 3. Uh, I think it works best for uh, outside signs. So what I do is I decide how I'm going to do it. So I don't do, like I said, I do kind of a random pattern. So this first one I'm going to glue up from about here on down. Then what I do is I take my brushes so they don't dry out and I can keep using them. I've been using this for about a month. Change the water every now and then. First one's usually a little wet. I always go back and put just a little bit until I get some of the moisture out of the brush and it gets more inundated with glue. I've never had one come apart, so I mean that's good. We'll straighten all this out at the end.
together. And when you're doing a sign, it's going to be like this. You need to make sure you clean off all the glue off of it, off the front. So what I do is I'll come in and get it as tight as I can. And then what I do is I do this little bit here, try and keep them even. A little bit here. So we start to get a pinch and then I go back and I feel how they're laying out so there's not twisting on me. And then I'll put a little more pressure on them. And then I'll come back, I keep a, uh, a bucket of water over here off to the side. With a wet rag. And then we'll get all this extra glue off. And that's basically how we glue them up. And then I come back with another clamp. This way. And I try and leave it up just a little bit. I know it's not probably good practice for that, but and I'm not cupping it. I make sure I don't cup it. But what it does is it keeps the <clears throat> keeps the glue off the clamp. And now I'm gonna have to do a little bit more cleanup because we put a little bit more pressure on it. And there we go. All the glue is wiped off. Sometimes I get a little under air, but not very often. That's where the words go usually anyway. And then what I like to do, if I lift up the back, because I don't want the back looking like all that glue run. It's not a very professional looking sign if you got all that sitting back there. Because we're not planing this when we're done. Once we're done gluing it up, we're going to put the words on it. And, uh, that's how she goes. And then I take this, set it up, and let me come back. And that's the technique of glue when you signs up. So we will talk to you soon. I got looks like I got one, two, three, four more to glue up, and uh, we'll have them all glued up. And then next, thing thanks for hanging with me today at the garage. And uh, please uh, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We're trying to grow it. Share this with as uh, many people as you can so they can see what we're doing. And, and if you'd like one of these signs, you can call uh, uh, Warner Designs. I'm on Facebook. You can message me through there. You can message me through Facebook. Um, uh, that's about it from the garage. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. God bless.